buried in a cemetery I will fight, never weary I wanna be legendary Till I'm dead and buried deep within a cemetery I will fight, never weary I wanna be legendary And here we have it. Paul, Molly, Maldrum, how are you, mate? Very good. Molly, great to see yes. you. Have no, you ever met Molly? Great to meet you. Thanks for, for inviting me on. That's have you ever, a pleasure. Have you ever met Molly? I have. Yeah. Now, obviously, a um, <laughs> couple of occasions, and you know, I think um, they did it specifically because we shared the nickname. Yeah. Uh, and, and second name. I th back in the mid '80s, Crowded House did a tour. Yes. Mm -hmm. And they. Um, they got myself and Russell Morris, obviously, yes. because of yeah. the connection with his name and, 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 the, and, the, and the Hawthorne Defender. And, and, the, and the singer, yeah. Russell yeah. Morris. Yeah. yeah, the Hawthorne Defender. Yeah. And uh, they had a, it was a record order or something down in South Melbourne. I got to meet Molly then, obviously. Yeah. Um, but I've met, I've, I've met Molly many times since. Since um, then, yeah. Since, because um, he was, um, there were a lot of functions that, uh, where I worked at Vizzy. Ah, that he yes. would be invited to, yeah, and obviously, yeah. Um, yeah, we'd catch up. You know, Matt, yeah, secure supporter, yeah, lovely guy. Man. But so. Ian Molly Meldrum, yeah, he's out down fame. He, he only became famous himself around about the mid seventies. You would have only been a teenager back then. When did you first start getting Molly as your, as your nickname? Um, at school, yeah, or? look, on and off. Um, not so much at school. No, probably the years just after school. Okay. Um, Got it, um, like got it at the footy late club. Se late seventies. Yeah, it would have been late seventies. So, you know, I, I probably right. didn't even have it sort of under seventeens. Yeah. Probably open age footy, uh, playing with Princess Hill. A few of them would yeah, sort of call me Molly. Yeah. Um, yeah, mates, but it didn't really stick. Yeah. Um, but you got it pretty much straight away as soon as yeah, you came, Park, came to I think Parkin credits himself with giving it to me. <laughs> um, and look, it, 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 it certainly stuck when oh, I came down to Carlton. Yeah. Um, I've even had players sort of um, come to me and. So I didn't realise they heard someone call me Paul, <laughs> <laughs> and, and they've actually wondered who it was. You know, so. <laughs> that usually happens. I've got a friend. I, I, I call him his nickname. I, I don't think I know his real name. Like, it's just, <laughs> yeah, he gets yeah. so used to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you were known for more than just being called <laughs> Molly Malger, <laughs> 1987 Premiership player. But you had a unique. Do we start there? I think Regular. we start there. Regular. I think we have a unique story that's a bit of folklore, but I think um, well, it's one of the best stories that Carlton Hill got to the club. Yeah, okay, okay. Can you... Uh, yeah, sure. I mean, look, it's, it's my small claim to fame. It I is, think. It's, it is, it's, it is. It's not a typical sort of uh, entry into, into playing sort of VFL, um, AFL footy. Um, so it's back in 82. Um, really funny um, that we just ran into... Shane O'Sullivan yes. before this interview um, yes. and he added something to the story that I didn't even know myself yeah. so um, yeah we're going to talk about so that. look I'll just, just very quickly um, I came I, I wasn't invited to Carlton yeah um, so I was, you were with your coach at the time wasn't it isn't that it, what it was it, I, I actually came down with the club president oh, club I guess president. being a local kid I grew up in Carlton yep. um, I just wasn't play, I just didn't play football um, in under 19s and, and for a local kid, that was really the only avenue in. So yeah. I was 21 in 82 when I came down. I played a season with Princess Hill, yes. which was a team sort of, um, at the time they were E-grade amateurs, and they played just across in Royal Park. Yep. And I went down, I had a pretty good year there, um, and I went down with the club president mm -hmm. um, to, and he... I met with Shane O'Sullivan, and um, was that just a chance meeting? Like you just yeah, look at the it, ground. Yeah, together, I, I don't think we made an appointment or anything. I no. think I just fronted up um, with um, Hoppe was was the, was the guy, the president of, uh, of Princess Hill. Yep. And um, yeah, it certainly wasn't like we had an appointment. Um, he came in. Shane was around. We had a quick sit down. Look, I'm, I would have been. Um, yeah, even at 21, you know, I wasn't naive enough. To th I, this was unusual, you know, yeah, and I could yeah, see, I could yeah. tell Shane. It was a bit awkward, you know. <laughs> Shane was sort of like, oh, yeah, we'll send a letter out. Yeah. But you just, you just 
basically put it on him. What have I got to what do? What did you to say to him? No, no, no. It was, I, I probably didn't say too much. You know, I guess the president said, "Oh, look, we've got this." You know, gun football. Gun yeah. football. Yeah. yeah. You know, I, I understand where Shane's got, yeah, gun football or an E grade, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so I could see, you know, it, it sort of, so it was really the, the president introducing me. Yes. Didn't really ask me too much about anything. I think it was just as, um, no, Shane, Shane was, Shane was, was great. Shane was just being nice. At I, th- the I, I think there was an element of that. Right, okay. Um, Shane said, look, um, yeah, here, we'll, we'll send, a le- send you a letter out. Right. Um, when, um, when pre-season starts, right? So did he know who you were when you sent the letter to No, I, I can't even recall giving him the address. <laughs> oh, maybe, maybe I was a bit sort of... Um, right, okay. chill, you know what I mean, just overwhelmed. But, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. but um, So that was pre-Christmas. Yes. Obviously nothing occurred pre-Christmas. Yes. So I ended up um, fronting up probably sometime in Jan, right? Pre-season training. Yeah, yeah, and look, t- to be honest, I didn't want to... I, I didn't want to do it. it I remember... My mum sort of talked me into it. Right. I train, you know, in between that sort of having that meeting. Yes. I um, I had this sort of um, regime perception of just how fit I'd need to be. Do you know what yeah. I mean? So I was running every night. But were I was you doing, working as a as like as a bricky? Oh, I was a builder's labourer. Yeah. Labor, I was yeah. working with an office petitions company. Yep. Um, based in South Melbourne, but, but most well, of their jobs in the city. Fit over the summer period. I tell you that that was. Uh, it, there's no doubt about that. It, it's probably done my back in as it was probably expressed the, yeah. ba- the back <laughs> so is, I mean we used to being office petitions we used to um, yeah. unload you know the big plaster sheets yeah. from trucks downstairs yeah. in, the, in the loading bays and sometimes obviously load them into lifts then unload them when we got to the floor and then lay them out in the well, areas and sometimes in other buildings where there were no lifts we actually would take them up three or four flights of stairs wow. so wow. it was a pretty extreme sort of that was like doing several weight sessions a day so yeah. no idea what you know what uh, in detail what a AFL regime or the AFL at the time looked like. I just knew that I'd have to be super fit yeah. to sort of did give you myself the best chance. Laps of disable a few times and do the time trial type I, thing. I not obviously not over my career. I did. I, I certainly did do a well. This I used to run. I run Princess Park. I, I, like I said, I lived just across Lycan Street. Yep. Um, in in corner of Drummond and Richardson, so I was only about five blocks away. So yep. I would run. Pretty convenient. I would run Princess Park. Mm. I would run Princess Park slash Royal Park, what, what yeah. they used to call the the, um, yes. the gatehouse run. Yeah. Um, I timed myself. I think I got got running Princess Park down to eleven minutes. You know, so I was sort of trying. I was trying yeah. to sort of assess how I was going. So, so I did that. You know, I, I, I probably got myself as fit as I thought I could. Yeah. Uh, and then I went down. So now we after so after, after, after Mum had persuaded me, come on, you'll, you'll yeah. regret it forever if you don't go down right. and ask. And I'm, I'm thinking, I can't do it. You know, I did, don't have the front. Embarrassed. So he, I was embarrassed. Yeah. Yeah. So here you are. So, so, he, so here I'm. So I got to the club in the <laughs> evening. I, you know, I've driven down myself, yeah. and I'm, I'm I'm sort of just lingering outside the door, just trying to get the courage to go in. And a guy that uh, was on the list at the time, uh, and I, who I went to school with, he was a year older and a great player, um, Dave Willis. Um, yeah. He he was a real good. He, I think he had a couple of pretty serious knee injuries and that probably um, cut, cut his career short but he, he saw me and he's, he said what are you doing here I said I was, was going to meet <laughs> so, so he, goes, he says come in with me so I just, just followed him uh. in and Shane said this guy wants to meet you know, I, you know it was, then it was like remember me you said you'd send out a letter then I could tell you know Shane was pretty he went he, white oh no, no, no it was nothing like that it was sort of pretty sort of brief he said look okay um, you can join in but if you can't keep up you're just going to have to move on that's basically what it was yeah. right, right? And Probably thinking you've got no chance of being yeah. able to keep up. So, 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 so looking back, it was hilarious because, because <coughs> obviously not being, in, um, you know, there were there were obviously that year there would have been recruits. I think Alan got um, could be wrong about the year, but you know there were obviously would have been recruits that come in from a bit of state. Yeah, yeah. Over the they'd be introduced and all that sort of yeah. stuff. You know, obviously I wasn't introduced, but um, no. so I was just this guy sort of hanging on the back of the huddle. You know, <laughs> when, they call, when they call it in and. And, and the story, um, so, so that's early pre-season, right? So most of our training's on the number one oval. And yeah. um, I got to, um, I managed, it, the, the story that um, Shane just sort of added to, mm. and, and that I didn't know till I finished, I came down to talk um, sometime in the 90s at, at a Premier's Club luncheon before a game. Okay. And Goffey told me then um, that you don't know how lucky you were to actually even play a game because mm. Wes Lofts was the selector at the time. So That's right. At the time, and he would come chairman down. Of selection. Chairman of selectors. He wouldn't come down every training, but obviously once a week he'd come down. And obviously, being the chairman of selectors, he knew all the recruits of and course. all. And he'd say, "Who's the blonde bloke? You know, what's it?" Because oh, you stand now. Oh, shame, oh, it's a guy that just asked for a run. And Wes, 
Mate, we don't do that. Just <laughs> tell him he's not required after training, right? Yeah. So m- my understanding of it was that this happened two or three times, and I was just lucky enough that if Shane, you know, once Wes had given him the order, get rid of this guy, he'd be looking for me, you know, right. in the weight room, and I might have already nicked off, or right. I'd be in the shower, and he was looking. So, so whatever dodging, it was, so, dodging, so, dodging, so dodging the way Steve leaving. told, I dodged it a couple of times, right? Right. But, okay. But I didn't realise how how probably how, how fine a line it was mm. um, you know, I found out from Shane today that it was actually so over these four or five weeks I lasted I thought you know just by luck to yeah. this intra club game yep. um, and, and obviously that was on number one oval yep. I, and I, I probably had 35 possessions right mm. yeah. um, they put me I think half back and, is and, that all 35 yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, probably more I'm being modest <laughs> <laughs> but um so lucky, know, that, you, lucky you played well the, the, yeah the, the story that I understood was that um, mm. Wes after watching that game said um, yeah don't worry about what I was telling you about getting rid of him right but Shane tells me that he was asked to get rid of me even the night that Indra Club was on right that's so, right so um, which I didn't know so and, and Shane just mentioned that he came in to find me and tell me um, not to bother getting changed and he got delayed got distracted by something else and yes. had to attend to it yeah and um then he rushed back out, and the game was already underway. Yeah. And what, then when he, came, he said, you haven't told that guy yet, have you? <laughs> How's that? And Shane so said, no, well, he, goes, he can play. <laughs> so where's so, Lofts, you know, where's Lofts has panicked because you played such a good game in the intra-club. Yeah. And he's gone, shit, I hope Shane hasn't told him the nigga. Apparently. Yeah. And luckily, luckily, Shane got distracted and hadn't told yeah, him. Yeah, so that's, like wow, I said, that, that, that blows me away because I didn't know that at all. So Sliding doors, are yeah, you? Yeah, yeah pretty, much, yeah, pretty much. One moment. Yeah, you know that first training session that you ever did. Like, so you come in, he goes, "Yeah, all right, just go out there, right?" What's that feel like? Like, like you said, like you haven't been asked. You've just walked up. Like, how do you feel? You're around some stars, well, premiership yeah. players, premiership players. No, like, look, how do you, like how do you even do one like one drill? Like, yeah. like oh uh, look, it's were you intimidated by all that or not? You know, look. Uh, the first year, um, you know, obviously getting on the list, yep. I was probably walking on air. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah I mean, I was a mad Carlton supporter. I grew up in Carlton. Yeah. Um, you know, as I said to you guys earlier, you know, Jez yeah. was my idol. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, went to a lot of footy um, right from the you know, early days when mum would take myself, me and my younger brother. Mm. You know, the old, when we were very little, she wait till three quarter time with open the gates and yeah. then she takes us in to watch yeah. the last quarter gradually it progressed to full <laughs> yeah. game do you know what I mean get so, the free injury yeah, yeah. We'd, we'd be the ones stacking up the cans like everyone used to do <laughs> so, we could, so we could you know yes. get a vantage point um, so for me to suddenly be amongst you know the Jeff Southbys the Curly Austin's yeah. Barry Armstrong's mm. um, um, Mackay Mackay um, you know play Duel Duel oh, you know, it was yeah. just um, was Amazing, but a little bit sort of overwhelming. So, um, but but to, to your question about how did I, you know, obviously I wouldn't have walked, done what I, what I did mm. if I didn't have Believe you know yourself. an inner belief that, yeah. that I could play. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, and look, you know, I, had, I obviously mentioned before I wasn't introduced. Yes. But that didn't mean the players weren't great in introducing no. themselves. Yeah. And so, so, so there was no wish. Ah, they're terrific. They're right. Good. They're terrific. That's so. Good. Um, um, so I wasn't daunted about, um, you know, being amongst them and what I would do training was that, that, that was something um, I did pretty easily. Yeah. But what I was saying earlier, you know, I had a perception of what pre-season would look like and how fit yeah. I need to be. I tell yeah. you, that first pre-season almost killed me. Really? Oh, see. Uh, because I think it's the first time you do it. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Even though I, and look, I'm so glad that I trained as much as I did because it enabled me to get through it. But yeah. Even the fact, the bit about the unknown of it. Do you know what I mean? I, oh, I would have been. And and then the, I'm guessing the training then was a little bit different from oh, what yeah. it is today. There was a lot more focus on repeated long running and yeah. Um, um, so the, the first one was a little bit of an ordeal. Yeah. After that, I guess once it was known to me, every other year was um, was pretty routine. Was pretty so routine. so your first year, 1982, you get on the list after playing a couple of night games and that sort of thing. And yeah. you obviously impressed enough to be put on the list. Um, the first 14 rounds, reserves? Yeah, yeah. Obviously just, uh, too old to be playing under 19, so yeah, it's that's right. straight in the reserves. <laughs> yeah, way too. Yeah, um, no, it, it, how yeah. was that? Yeah, no, look, it was, um, it, was, um, it was where I belonged, obviously, you know, finding my feet. 
Um, Who were some of the players you played with in 92 in the reserves? Oh, you look, my memory's terrible. There, uh, there was guys like Stephen Miller yeah. um, um, playing at Were there any forward. champions that were just starting to get on the sort of the... Um, the, the, the the other side of the hill, so to speak, closer to retirement, that we're playing in no, the No, look, we talk about th- those players that played, you know, 82, 87, like mm. the likes of uh, Ashman and mm. Armsy and Marku. Mm. Mm. Um, but but, but about at, at that time, they were still, was at that time, they were still obviously, yeah, you know, key members of the side. Wasn't Southby playing reserves at that no, time? No, no, Southby was still, I'm pretty sure in 82, he certainly... Um, oh, 82, he missed 82, out the grand final. Yeah, but right. he played He played most of 82, That's as right. was um, yeah, 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 Barry right. Armstrong, I think, Barry may Armstrong. have been captain, of re- yeah. was in the reserves. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Sort of, yeah. Playing yeah. a sort of mentor-type role. And Trevor Keogh and David McKay were coaching the under-19s at that stage, I they? think, yeah, I think... Who was your coach, Brian Quirk, or...? Um, yes, in 82 with Brian 82. Quirk in the reserves. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, you're right. For, you know, tr- trying to... Um, playing, you know... Starting to play pretty well. Mm-hmm. I was playing on the wing. And you um, got your first crack in round 15. Yeah, I think Glazer got injured. So, um, right. it, you know, there was a spot for me. And I played. Your great mate got injured for you. He did, yeah. he did. And um, so you played against Melbourne. Yeah. Was that a Prince's Park? It was, yeah. it was. First game. How, did, you, how did they tell you? Like, how, how did they tell you about your first game? Yeah. Like, who comes up to you? Does like, what happens? Is, ring it during the, is it on the Thursday or. <sighs> I think I heard about it on league teams. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> hey, you knew people playing the centre. Yeah, no, I'm just try- look. Like I said, I'm trying to. Um, no, it's I'm not like they do now, where they I'm pretty can, sure can televise the event <laughs> in front of everybody and put it on social media. You yeah, know, I, I'm trying stuff. to recall because at different stages, it would be. It's. I, I honestly can't recall whether Parkin told me personally. He yeah. may well have, right? Right. Um, it might have been a reading of the team okay. after training on Thursday, yeah. something like okay. that. And how do you feel? Oh, like, no. is it overwhelming? What, like, far out? You, oh, it's pretty. You understand? You're playing. It was pretty, <laughs> spe- for Carl. It was oh pretty special. It was pretty special. Look, I, my my memory. I certainly have the memory of running through the banner. Yeah. And thinking. Um, what about the crowd? What was the crowd like? Oh, it, it was a typical Carlton crowd. You know, right, so yeah. I was taking it all in. But I remember thinking, and I, you know, that I'd be happy at that point in time if I never played another game. Really? Running through that, yeah. I, Just I, to play one game. Well, yeah. I mean, pretty soon after that game, I thought, yeah, I better, true, I, I better lift my goals up a little bit. You know, I yeah, thought, no, but at no, the time, so basically, your dream come true. To, to yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, it's a strange play. thought, isn't it? Because I, I, you know, it's funny because I didn't, I didn't come down there to play one game. But no. I remember thinking, this, you know, if I don't do anything else, I would have played. I, I, I felt, I, yeah. I remember that thought running through my head. Yeah. Then sort of thinking at some point, no, I need to sort of Build revise the goals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But. Oh, it was amazing, and, and to, you know, lucky enough to. Um, I started on a wing, I think, on um, O'Donnell. Yes, um, Kelly O'Donnell. And the, but we were switching. I actually got to play on Robbie Flower. Oh, right. For a period. Wow. Yeah, short period, fortunately. Um, in my first. <laughs> wow. 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 Playing like a champion. Yeah. Player. Ironically, <coughs> um, so that got me a game the following week out at Waverley against St Kilda. Yes. And I think that was a I famous had, game. That I, game. Had, I only had a couple of kicks, but one of them was a goal. You got a goal there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that was, wasn't that the famous game where Ross, Ross Ditchburn kicked twelve goals? Yes. I'm pretty sure that was the uh, 1982. Ross Ditchburn no, was, was our full. Yeah, no, no, you, yeah, I think you're probably. No, right. he did. I remember he kicked yeah. a massive. Bag he kicked twelve goals. Yeah, hundred percent right. That game. He was incredibly straight kick. But Jesus anyway, you know, back to me, please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. No, 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 obviously, two or three <laughs> possessions. Obviously, two or three possessions wasn't enough to um, to so get a get a go. And Glazer came back from injury, yeah. and, right. and look, there was, I was no under no. But you had your to, taste at that stage. Oh, and that's that was that was that was fantastic, right? Yeah. And that's probably all I could expect in the first year. Yeah. Um, but it certainly, um, like I said, I sort of revised my goals and set myself to um, to go from there. Yeah. Do you still work in full time at that time? Oh, it was funny, you mentioned the, the labourer's job um, mm. that I had. It, it was, um, you know, a bit ironic because the guy, I knew he was a, he was a Mount Carlton supporter, right? Okay. Um, and I didn't get that, obviously I didn't get that at the time when I took that role, uh, yep. took that, got that job. I wasn't at Carlton, right? Yeah. And this, my circumstances meant that it's not like I even felt comfortable saying, oh, I'm training with Carlton. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> um, Wow. So it's funny, and, and because we had morning sessions under Park, and you know, I think every Thursday during pre season, we were training at uh, Xavier. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, sorry, Trinity. Um, six o'clock sessions. Across the road. So I couldn't make it to work. I'd be late, you know, late for work. Um, right. And he sat, he sat me. Um, oh, right. did he? Yeah, yeah. Because you were coming to work late. Yeah. Little did he know that he, he'd he had no, he had no idea. But you didn't so. tell him. No, I didn't tell him. Oh. Right. I didn't feel that I, you know, given. I didn't feel like I could. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Sort of say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because um, I wasn't officially. 
on the list. No, no, that's so true. I didn't. You know, right or wrong, I didn't. And um, it's funny because I didn't. I actually ran into him about middle of my career down at um, wow down down at um, Portsea. Yeah, right. He was. We, did you explain I was the a, situation? I, I was on a friend's boat. We'd gone out, and he yeah, was, yeah. and he was launching his, I think. Yep. And he, 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 friendly, you know, he yeah. just confronted me. He said, why didn't you tell me? <laughs> 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 yeah. And I, I just said, mate, I didn't feel, you know. It was all good, right? Yeah, yeah, he, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But he said, you should have told me. You should have yeah, told me. Man. So what did you do after that then? Uh, that's another funny story. You know, I, I, the, the other sort of the naive part, you think, oh, you're at Carlton now. You don't have to do anything Job's else. taken care of. Oh, yeah. I knew, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, and I thought, they'll get me a job and all that sort of stuff. And they did. But it was, um, my first job was... Um, at Smorgan's Meatworks out in Footscray. Oh, nice, yeah. So I yeah. front up, obviously, as you, as you have to, you get the gun boots on, you get the white yep. overalls, and yep. I march into the killing room, uh, the beef killing room, and. Did you go in there like Rocky Balboa and start hitting <laughs> No, I didn't, I, I didn't even get. I didn't even get close to the carcasses. <laughs> right, my job was the tally clerk, right? Okay. So, so as the. By this, by this point, the carcass have been split in half, and yeah. I'm sitting up on this stool with the scales in front of me, and I've got to record every oh, three seconds, yeah. right? Yeah. I mean, it was. Goodness, I mean, people. You know, person says hello or talk, yeah, and I'm yeah, distracted. Yeah, I've missed yeah, one, yeah, I've got to make yeah. it up. You know what <laughs> I mean? got to make it up. Right? Uh, after about three days of this, I said, oh, I've had enough, right? Yeah. I can't do this. <laughs> I took a day off. I took a day off. <laughs> Came back, I'd lost my job. There's a big lady sitting there, she says, My job now, right? You know, and I'm the. So, foreman comes over, gives me a gaff hook. So, it became my job to drag the carcasses uh, um, from the automated chain to yeah. through the section where it's not automated into the oh, chiller. Back to yeah, that's it. <laughs> Two days of that. Job, I, went back to, I went back to where it was. I said, mate, you've got to do better than that. <laughs> yeah, that's it. You've got to do better than that. <laughs> that's an interesting uh, job description. Carcass drag. Yeah, carcass. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, I've arrived. You know, yeah, that's yeah. it. It's, um, oh, wow. So, yeah, anyway, okay. let's get back to the footy. Sure, 1983, sure. four and five. You um, cement yourself in the... Yeah, in the 83, I, I think I played... Um, might have played six out of the first ten. Yep. So in and out initially, and then started to find... Yep. Um, started to string a couple of games together. Unfortunately, got a stress fracture in my right uh, shin. Mm-hmm. Um, that, um, yeah, that knocked me out for about four or five weeks. And when I came back through the reserves, actually just an incident towards the end of a game, sort of innocuous, but I actually... Um, did a minor dislocation on my shoulder, like I think they call it a subluxation. Okay. And that, that finished me for the season. I tried playing, mm. strapped up. Um, yeah. So I thought, you know, I thought maybe I could, if that hadn't happened, I was pretty confident I would have probably played a few more games in 83. Yeah. But certainly 84, I think 84, 85, 86, I didn't miss a game. Yeah. Um, yeah. 84 was probably the year that I really felt, you know, yeah. pre season came in, first game. Parkin obviously had grown in confidence in you as I well. Think, yeah, yeah. You know, you thought, yeah, this guy deserves to be here. You felt, I mean, you, must, you must have felt like I belong now. I, I'm not even worrying about necessarily getting a game. By next that time, I was certain that, you know, um, yeah, I'm good enough. Yeah. I can, I can, you know, um, I can get a place, you yeah. know. Find a place well, you became very much a cult hero at Carlton during those years. I mean, you must oh, yeah. have detected a bit of bit of that in the crowd every time you got the ball, and people yeah. used to get pretty excited every time you got the ball and went for one of those searching runs. Yeah, with no, those yeah. pistol little legs of yours, and yeah, they were short, short they stabby, were short steps, right? short stabby little kicks yeah. for goal. And no, all I certainly didn't have that long gait of a duel or a race. But game. you used to deliver the ball beautifully too. Yeah, I pride it. I was, I was. Um, I could use the ball, and I was good on both feet. Yes, um, and you were that's quick. another thing. Not too many players today, in today's day and age, can kick both yeah, feet. No. Yeah. But you were one of those who could. Yeah, you're very kind to say I was. Qu- I, I reckon I was quick over the first ten, which was, which was important you, for me. Yeah, because everyone I've shown that on the on the interview yeah. now, you, you've seen some of the highlights and that. I'm telling you, you used to take your mark and you used to yeah. take off quickly. I, re- and I reckon that first ten meters. Yeah, yeah. that that. That um, standing start to mm. getting, I, yeah. I was quick. I think yeah. I was, and that helped me because I wasn't quick over a distance. Yeah. But I didn't yeah. need to be if I could get out of yeah. congestion very, yeah. you know, or yeah. as you said, Mark, I like to play on. I like yeah. to, I like to cover ground, take a bounce, yeah. Yeah. try and break lines, that sort of stuff. Yeah. Um, and you love the goal. I didn't mind a goal. Yeah, yeah, yeah didn't mind goal. a goal. Love the goal. Um, yeah. You know. Well, you, you, I mean, you, you played what one? You know the, you know the things. What is a one? 50, 160 games? 158. And how many goals? 140. And 140 goals. Yeah. yeah. So almost and probably a goal played a game. Ha- yeah. And, it pl- and played probably half of my career at 
um, in the back part. Back yeah, yeah, that's right. In the, in the second can half. We, yeah. Can we just before we go on eighty six because that was a change of scenery at Carlton with the walls coming in and parking. Yep. You know, basically the walls park and swap with Fitzroy. But up until the end of eighty five, so he played three pretty consistent seasons. Can you describe to us what that was like at the club then? Because we made finals, but failed to go too far deep into the finals. Yeah. Um, How would you have described the team and what did you think was missing during those years in, in terms of going the next step? Um, Were some of the players from 81 and 82 maybe losing that bit yeah, of Yeah, look, there's no doubt. You know, without, um, um, you know, going into a detailed analysis, which I, you know, I probably sure. wouldn't be great at doing, um, I think it's a bit of that. I think, you know, you've got a team that had won mm. three premierships through 79, years. 81, 82. True. Some of those players, it was, it was, you know, obviously what ended up happening was a bit of the changing of the guard. Yeah. Um, In fact, some of them left to go to St Kilda at the end of 85 and 86. Didn't? Yeah, you know, there was, a, there was a lot quite of an exodus yeah. um, of players that, um, that, that crossed Paul over. Paul and oh, Marcoub. There, 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 there was Sheldon. Ricky Nixon, yep, uh, Nixon. Marcou, Bomber, McConville, Warren yeah, Jones. McConville, Warren yeah. Jones. Yep. Um, probably 10 or so. so yeah. um, and so the influx of players, you don't think quite good enough, obviously, the recruiting wasn't Yeah, look, you know what, I, I think after a few... I mean, as we know, during that period, Hawthorne were just a super. You know, Hawthorne, you had, Essendon. sorry, you had Essendon, Essendon obviously. Yeah. Um, Prior, yep. They, they were super sides, so they they really come up. We'd gone off the pace a little bit. You're right. We I think we got into um, eighty four. I think we played um, elimination. We certainly played elimination. We played two finals. 80, yeah, one against Essendon. Yeah, we played two finals. Both. Sorry, it's eighty three. Yeah, eighty three was one. an elimination. Yeah, eighty five right. was an elimination. Eighty five was against North. Yeah, and, we and lost they that. ran over us in the last quarter at Waverley. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's right. right. So we were sort of there, but still a fair way off. I mean, we had some some good recruits during those years, like Justin Madden came from Essendon, and <laughs> David Reese Jones came from the Sydney Swans. Yes, guys like that. But they were few and far between. Yeah, and, and maybe Justin hadn't hadn't yet uh, right. become the player that he yes. did become a Carlton yeah. then, right? True, true. Um, yeah, we used to joke with him about it. We yeah. thought we were getting his brother. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so we carry on about sort of the left there, you know, sort of, you know, the face is dropping. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's you, you know. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, I mean, you know, you know how funny Justin, I mean, he yeah, had a great yeah, sense of, of humour. Of he gave more back than, uh, than he yeah, received, uh, I can tell you. Do you think that Parkin was starting to... Um, I mean, he was obviously very widely respected by the playing group, but do you think his message was starting to wane a little bit? It may have, yeah. I, I, a fresh start with someone else? Probably. I think, and, and maybe the powers of B came to that conclusion. I think yeah. it was time. I mean, Parkin, you know, had achieved an incredible amount. Yeah, of um, course. In the early Two premierships in his first year. And, and at some point, maybe yeah. the message wasn't um, wasn't resonating it. the way it had. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, I think... Ultimately, you know, Elliot. did you enjoy playing under Park? Like, oh, was look, he a good coach for you? Yeah, look, I, I, I'm, I find myself, you know, I'm fortunate. I think I played under two terrific coaches. Yeah. Um, it, it, and people will ask me who I think was the best. I, I probably just lean towards Walls, but probably because his tenure coincided with probably my best footy. You know, yeah, I, that's I was right. mid twenties. I was playing and, 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 and the two grand and the two grand yeah. finals. Uh, but but other than that, almost impossible to split. They were both yeah. innovative coaches. Yeah. Um, Did you, know, you find them both quite similar in terms of both being teaching backgrounds and yeah. instructive type coaches? Yes. Um, look, Parkin was certainly more of a natural speaker. Right. Um, because it was his vote. It was his job. You know, yeah. lecturer. Yeah. So you know, Parkin. You know, he always amazed me. He could. Um, sure. He could, and I'd seen not just. In, 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 in sort of the footy context, but yeah. where I've seen him speak in public, yeah. um, no notes, no, and, just and, yet, straight out. and yet he talked as if he did have them, you know, yeah. just the, just, and the passion that came through. So pa- Parkin was a very natural speaker. Um, Wolsey was a good speaker as well, but a bit more um, direct, right? And there's no doubt Wolsey was probably um, more of a disciplinarian, a, a harder was coach. He autocratic type. Um, Regimented, no, like autocratic, enough, but, but but very big around. But some regimentation, I think. You know, everything from um, all being in the same uniform. Yep. That real sort of um, all in, one in, all in. Yes. Um, you look nothing, back now. Nothing wrong you, with that. You though, look back it? now and say maybe that's it's you know what I mean. It's it's had its time, but it was right for Carlton then. Mm. You know what I mean. It's, mm. The thing, you know, when I say one in all in, you know, whether you were 17 or 34, yeah. you all did the training, right? Yeah. And that would be unheard of now. Yeah. Um, and I always maintain that, you know, it's no, one of Hawthorne's 
Uh, one of the reasons Hawthorne remained so dominant over an extended period through the 80s and early 90s is that they were pretty much ahead in that respect. You know, they didn't, they didn't have the same mm. training expectation of their older players no. as, as, as probably all other clubs did. So they, they were ahead of their time in that respect. So if you're a Russell Green or a... You know, if you're one of the sort of more senior players, you yeah. came back in Jan, or you had a, pr- you certainly had a yeah. program. They were more flexible, but you weren't, weren't you weren't flogged. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. And, and yeah. look, and the training that we did under both Parker and Walls, you wouldn't see any teams train like that today. Yeah, right. Yeah. I mean, match practice on Tuesday nights, physical, real physical um, you know, stuff. Walls' channel is probably fame, you know, well known. Yeah. Um, but that's the way all but teams. He got, but he got your rock. Oh no, it got it got the it, it got the result. Right. Yeah, it, was, the result. it was it was it was. Um, did you ever go into a game feeling sore because of how how hard the training was during the week? Yeah, yeah, and look, feeling like God, well, that, I feel that, like I played a game already and I haven't even started. Yeah, that's another. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you remind me of something. When I was playing my best footy, mm. I was self managing my my regime. <laughs> I'll, put, I'll put it I'll put it that way, right? Because <laughs> I found if I had a preseason under my belt, um, excuse me, and I was playing a game. When I say all I felt I needed to do was was. Um, look after myself because I'd be fine. My fitness base was there, yep. and that would keep me nice and um, I'd, I'd enter the, you know, I'd be right and fresh for the next game. Mm. That that, and I managed to do that through some of '86 and '87 until um, I basically got called out for it. Right, and for me, um, you know, looking after myself is maybe staying in the warm. The, Medical room, and and look, so I had some genuine injuries yeah. and, and, and soreness that meant it was a good idea. But yeah. but I, you yeah. know, what, sort of at, at, then um, <laughs> at some point, yeah, we weren't going so well. I got pulled up, yeah. saying you know, and get back on the program, and oh, look, you know, I mean, that probably you were always going to get caught up with sooner it, or later. It's not as if I could blame that, but yeah, but, yeah. but it wasn't. I I, I had. Was pretty happy with the regime, I, 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 but it was never going to last. You know, yeah. I can imagine. But um, you know, some of those cold winter nights, yeah, um, of course, um, didn't enjoy so much. But but I, I enjoyed training and, yeah. and 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 you know saw it as yeah. I mean, like most players, saw it as an opportunity to sort of build yeah. and improve your game. Yeah. So yeah, I, I I thought I was a pretty good trainer. Can I ask you something about post training? Did you join in with most of the older guys in going along to the odd? Pub like Norton's after training or no? I, like I've got to say probably no because no. that was probably because um, some of them used to go to one pub and park and court them and so then they went to another no. Pub see, that, that's or, probably or did you not take part in any of that? Well, I, I, I got to, I could be wrong. But, I'm talking but about the but McClure, I reckon that's the more McClure no no that, that's more an era thing and they probably and mm. I'm, I'm sure they would have been doing that mm. when they play when we overlapped. Yeah. But no, I, I think I, I certainly and probably most probably drew the line in terms of. Um, right. Drinking during it. I mean, I certainly, I'd have a wine. If I went out, I'd have yeah. wine with a meal. But sure. I probably wouldn't. Uh, and I know I didn't go down to Norton's during the week. Yeah. But the, the did era you see went, that some of them did though? Oh, look. To be honest, I wasn't really. Um, or was that only certain? Which means, certain which means like, which, if it was happening, it means I wasn't invited. Right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but but but. but um, You're just that bloke off the street. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly, exactly. He doesn't belong. But um, no, look. I, I mean. That, our whole era, you know, different from today, is that mm. we, and, and they said it about that era of car, and, and, and it really was, it, it flowed into our era, but it really was the McClure Johnson, yes. yeah. Um, yeah. that era where it was, it was hard, work hard, hard play hard, hard. Yeah. Yeah. work hard, play hard, yeah. um, and they did it, you know, and they managed to do both, right, That's so, yes. and, they got know, and right, right through my career, you know, I'd, I'd probably, I'd look after myself during the week, um, occasionally yeah. Monday might be the last night, of, you know what I mean, a Monday yeah. night, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, um, Preseason was obviously different, but but from sort of training onwards, um, I prepare for the game. Okay. Certainly after a game, um, Saturday night could be was a big night, right? Yeah, and some, anything, and often yeah. Sunday was a big night. Yeah. I used to smoke then, right? As as did a few players, right? right? Which would be on. Un- did you ever have one at half time or anything? No, like no, no, no. Some no. of the boys used to. Yeah, look, I I, I think Reese might have pulled out the odd. Day. Yeah, he was pretty discreet <laughs> about if he did. It yeah. wouldn't surprise me. I mean, I I know. You know, whether Harmsy. Harmsy um, might have done. Harmsy used to tell. Harmsy apparently chain smoked on the way to the game. <laughs> um, Fraser Murphy <coughs> uh, uh, um, allegedly would have his last in the, in the in the cubicle, toilet cubicle before yeah. warm up. Yes, yeah. but, but that's all hearsay, right? So, yeah, yeah. Um, I, 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 drew, those days. I drew the line at. Um, I might have. Um, I might have. You know, five. 
Friday evening. Yep. Um, once I woke up Saturday, that's where I drew the line. Yeah. Yep. Um, but but I, had, like I, had a, I, I had a packet ready for Saturday night. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> was that, like, for, for that was normal days. Though. It was then, yeah, it was. Yeah, it was for normal. players in your day, was that sort of a form of, like, giving yourself a little reward or uh, a, bit of a release from the, yeah. the, the, the rigors? Yeah, I mean, without naming, I was surprised, you know, that they're probably, I reckon there would have been at least seven or eight mm. players at that time, senior team players, yeah. um, that were smokers. Um, I think it made... And, and, and funnily enough, whether we felt we had to compensate, they were mm. usually the ones that were up the front in the time trial. You know what I mean? Because yeah, I think yeah, we yeah. felt, yeah, it's because we're smart, we've got to work a little bit harder. Yeah, that's um, it. It but would have been the same at most clubs, I imagine. Oh, look, yeah. Parkin, Parkin could never understand. Parkin being a teetotaler. Yeah, that's he, right. He could never, you know, he struggled drinking, to relate smoking, to the drinking. Uh, yeah. Smoking was taboo. I you think know he I mean. gave up at one stage trying to control you blokes. Well, you know, you look at my, it, it wasn't, obviously you wouldn't ever think about it now, but the typical, you know, at the end of the game, the slab came in. Yeah, pies, you know. Yeah. Um, Reese, we'd, we'd light up for one. The smokers would light up in the rooms. I mean, you wouldn't even dream of that. Imagine that. But, um, you it's know, right. it made it wasn't condoned, but it was, you know, it wasn't forbidden. So, yeah. so, so let's now, go back. Sorry, Rocket. no, I'm just going to say, '86. Then I was just going to say. So in the '85, Parkin leaves. Mm. Walls comes in '86, and we get a, a couple of. Well, more than a couple. Well, that would do for the rings. Yeah, yeah. Well, we got we got sticks, we got brattles, That's we right. got Motley. Uh, Motley, Dora, Rocky Dennis, yeah. Bernie um, Evans, and Bernie Evans. Yeah, That's I mean, right. the, I mean, so bad. they were the good old days when you didn't. Did you get it when you saw you know, him? Things like was Dennis, was Dennis and, over in '86? I thought he came over in '87. You might be right. Yeah. You might be right. Um, you know when when um and Naley came over in '87 as, well. yeah. as well. Yeah. When sticks and Bradley. The, did you guys know about him? Like, I know you knew about him because I was six kicks, ten's goal in a state game and everything. But when, when, when they come over, do you, do you go? Well, I certainly all knew. Right. We all certainly knew about sticks because, yeah. um, oh, and I've never you know, state games, right? Yeah. No, not, not just that. Oh. In '82, my first, end, of the, end of my first year, so it was oh, early '83. Yeah. Oh, did he come on? We up? went to um, Los An- we went to Los Angeles, right? He came with you. He was only nine. No, he was only nine. Have you ever heard of a of a player on a preseason trip with a club four years before he decides <laughs> to join? No. Well, that, that sticks. You know? Was he best on ground? Oh, look, 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 <laughs> even then, sticks. He he dealt in. Look, yeah. everyone knew enough. To, yeah, the, the, he was. He was going to be a huge part of our future, right? Yeah. He came over. He would have been like probably late teens. Um, you yeah, eighty two. He was. He was only yeah, only yeah. yeah. Years, so he was on that trip, um, and he fitted in fantastically. You yeah. know, it's, it's uh, and Bradley. We I, we still stir him up about it, but um, yeah, yeah. No, um, so you're right. Eighty six and eighty seven really added some great, some yeah. terrific players. And um, did you you were saying before like oh eighty seven, but so much, but eighty six, you started thinking right. We've got a premiership side here, yeah? Yeah. yeah no so doubt. We knew we started we had some, believing it, yeah. Well, you know, you talk about what was missing. You know, mm-hmm. I think we certainly... Um, you know, it'd be very difficult for any club to sort of recruit that well in such a short period, right? But yeah, obviously, yeah. The, the game's very different now with draft and yeah. salary caps and so forth. But, um, yeah, we knew we had... We had some quality, yeah. and we, we could give it. We could give it a real shake. Yeah. Parkin had a lot to do with bringing a lot of these guys over, and then yet, as soon as they came, <laughs> yeah. he's gone. Yeah, and yeah. he comes walls. Now, was there any? I don't know. What, uh, what's the right question here? Was it? Was there anything weird about that situation to you guys in terms of? Oh shit, we've got a new coach as well as all these new players, and yeah, you know, Parkin was the one that was largely responsible for getting over Kernahan, Bradley, etc. No, not really. And I, no. and I guess you know. I, as a player, I never really got. I was there to play, you know. So I never really sort of thought too hard about. Yeah. Um, you know, I think. Um, Had you known Walsey before that? No. Never met him. No. Uh, I hadn't. Obviously, well, obviously knew. I've been watching him as a play, as a. Supporter. And he was a good coach for you, wasn't he? You played your best football. I yeah, yeah. I actually enjoyed playing. I, well, mm. sorry, I say it like I, I I certainly, as did others, I enjoyed playing at a Walsey. Yeah. Yep. It showed. It showed. Well, yeah, it's yeah. good years, all Australian. Both those years, you probably had two of your best years. Ended up with two grand finals. No, not uh, not all Australian. I, uh, very thanks for saying. Oh, that. But, but Victoria, certainly state, state Victoria, representative. Victoria representative. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Ninety six, yeah. obviously, with all this should have been all Australian. <laughs> <laughs> with, with, with this influx of players, we we obviously um, had the ability to go further into the finals, and we did, and we we went all the way to a a grand final, having beaten Hawthorne in the second semi. Yes. Um, 
and then they beat Fitzroy in the preliminary final That's right. to then beat up to then meet us again in the eighty six grand final. Um, you had a pretty good game, even though we had a largely disappointing grand final. In fact, very, very disappointing grand final. Yeah, it, it, it's, it was a strange day. I was talking to you both before about it. Um, mm. Sometimes you, you just feel like a day's got a game's got away from you. I actually felt, and it's funny because I usually had no issue sleeping, um, you know, prior to a game. But I did not sleep. If I got an hour of sleep, it would have been like that. I was just really? too. I was just wild. And that was your first grand final. First grand, and, and probably yeah. you know, I just build it up and. Um, and just could Forget not. Forget the result for a sec. Just go back to the start of that. But we'd like to ask Premiership players, what was the feeling like when you ran out onto the ground for your first grand final? Yeah. Were you excited? Were you nervous? Were you... Um, Look, you know, I think... Were you, or were you just sort of in a world of your own and blocked everything out? No, I, did it feel? no I, I felt okay. Um, you know, I think you, you, you realise, of course, you... It, you know, and players often talk about it. You want to. I think you've got to use it to. Your, you know, you know the crowd's going to be huge. It's a yeah. big occasion. Yeah. I go. Out, I went out there. I think constantly trying to soak up the crowd, get the feel for it, the atmosphere. Mm. Um, and um, and I've always been like I've always enjoyed and been being aware of the crowd during games. I think you, yeah. can, you can actually thrive off it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and I think most players do. Yeah. Um, but. Yeah, so were you confident? So I didn't you feel could beat Hawthorne that day. Yeah, no, or were you a bit, a bit apprehensive. No, or probably confident, but very different from what I was talking before about the following year. Yeah, you know, yeah. which probably will cover off. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, we were confident. We we thought we had the, and we did. I mean, we had the team. Mm. And I just it was just one of those. I, I don't know what to put it down to. Whether um, we just came out flat, um, and like I said, it's not like they blew us away, but. They were, tell they were in control, quarter, yeah. and we were never really, we never really threatened to get into the game. No, yeah. um, and that, that, that just seemed how it was. So it just seemed it was a bit sad too. With yeah, Dunn still kicking six on Dooley. Yeah, it was just, last look, game. I mean, it was, was it was um, a bit of a sad way for Dooley to go out. Yeah, not ideal. After I mean, such a sensational career, let's be honest. Oh, it's just uh, it doesn't affect his legacy. I mean, he's just no, but and, that, and that's and, and look, I guess he he um, you know he he sort of uh, lowered his. Um, Lowered his colours. Lowered his colours that day to one of the greatest players he's ever played, played as well too. Yeah. So he, when he was on the up, do you think it might have been a bit unfair to put him on such a, a an up and coming young champion in no. Jason Dunstall? No, I'm sure. I'm sure it was a good matchup. Oh, look, it, it, hindsight's a beautiful thing, but mm. that was he, was, he would have wanted the job. He <laughs> yeah, would have. He was 36 at the time. Going, in, going into that mm-hmm. game, he would have been the right. You know, the, the yeah. view was he was the right man. Yeah. Look, J- Jason just had a great game. He um, did. You know, we're lucky we didn't have to come up against Jason the next. Well, year. yeah, <laughs> a, a, a few things that, that uh, the cards fell our way, <coughs> you, no doubt. Yeah. So, isn't it interesting how the two coaches swapping, and it worked for both clubs? I mean, yeah. Fitzroy under Parkin made it all the way to yeah. a preliminary final, just one more game off a grand final. That's right. Could have even been a potentially a grand final between Walls and Parkin. Would have been something. And two opposing teams. Yeah. 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 But yeah. Fitzroy actually got pretty. Pretty convincingly beaten. I think it might have been around ten goals in the yeah, final. But yeah. but obviously Hawthorne yet again. What, I mean, how did you guys look at Hawthorne in the eighties? I mean, they made what was it seven grand finals in succession, eighty three through to eighty nine. They never missed a grand yeah. final. Yeah. Oh look, we we often talk I think about they it. They won four of them. Uh, five of them, I think. Oh, I think they it? won five out of nine. No, but they, they won ninety one. They won ninety one. Yes, they won the one out of Waverley. No, no, no. Oh, sorry. No, no, no. I was thinking of 84, 85. They lost to Essendon. Yes. And they lost to us in 87. So that was it. Well, they won all the others. I th- You're right. I could be right. I thought it You're was right. five out of nine. Which it was. Is, it's five. I mean, because... Oh, look, I it in. Five-time, nine, yeah, yeah, yeah. five-time day premiership. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're right. You're right. Yeah. yeah. I, I think you might... Eight grand finals in nine years, and wow. they won five yeah. of them. I mean, it often comes up in conversation when I catch up with, you know, teammates and, you know, you look at the, the sides that I think stand out. Mm would have been that Carlton side of 79 through to 80, 82. Yeah. Yeah. 80, and, and, you know, arguably that they should, yeah. 80 was a missed opportunity. Um, and then almost a decade of Hawthorne. Hawthorne, yeah. almost hard to go past, just to be such a strong side for right. such, a, such a prolonged period. And and that Brisbane, you know, and obviously subsequent to that, yeah, yeah. Um, the Hawthorne three-peat, but yeah. Um, yeah. with Hodgie and, and, yeah. and, and yeah. That, that crew. But, um, yeah, look, you ask, how did we perceive them? Yeah. Um, Great role, you know. Obviously, yeah. as a benchmark, yeah. the team we needed to get over. Yeah. But already starting to build admiration with the type of team mm. they were. Yeah. You know, one, one thing that we learnt in one of our other interviews, um, not sure who it was with, but um, it was Dipper. Okay. Said 
we went, we had all this success. We won, you know, five premierships in nine years and all that sort of thing. He said, but one thing I noticed, he said, you guys at Carlton had a far better camaraderie and, and team spirit and real mates, real good, close mates with each other, more than what we ever had at Hawthorne. Yeah, Isn't that interesting? It's interesting. And I think he was referring more to the guys of the late 70s, early 80s, because yeah. Divya yeah. started in late, late 70s. Yeah, I reckon, yeah. I reckon um, you know, I played a few times on Divya, mm. um, which was, you know... That would have been tough. Too. Oh, it was tough, but, but you know, a privilege in a way. You enjoyed great. playing. I admired him as a player, and yeah. it was great sort of uh, competing with, against him. But yeah. um, I think he might have even mentioned that. He, he did... Um, yeah, I think he, he saw something... And, it, and there's no doubt we had... Mm. Uh, I'm sure Hawthorne were a close unit. You don't, sure. you don't, you don't, you don't have that sort you of don't success that unless you're You know what I reckon part of what, what motivated him to say that? He was one of the few Italians in that team. And yeah. I reckon he looked at, <laughs> some, <laughs> he looked at some of the yeah, Warriors. Yeah, he was looking at... Yeah, I wouldn't have minded being a Carlton player. Maybe, maybe, maybe. But there's no doubt... He really wanted to be a Carlton player. No, but there's no doubt Carlton, yeah. really no, Carlton, yeah. no doubt Carlton had a, yeah. a pretty... A, a great camaraderie. The, yeah. the team went out together. Yeah, you always have your, your young blokes versus your old blokes, sure. but the team would come to, when, when it was time to come together, whether yes. that was socially or, yeah. we had a great time. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, there was, you know, and it, there was an old, there was a pecking order too, you know, I mean, we, we laugh about things like Sunday, um, you know, Sunday under Parkin and most, mostly the game was transitioning obviously from Saturday games to Friday games, Sunday games, all that sort of stuff. But so, but traditionally, Sunday, Saturday. particularly under Parkin, was training. Right, yes. training would be a game of soccer just to sort yeah. of um, blow out the cobwebs, blow out the cobwebs yeah, yeah, or yeah, whatever yeah. it might be. Yeah. And, he, and he, he used to love Catholics versus Proties. <laughs> yeah, uh, that was uh, always the case. Yeah. But after after <laughs> that, so we'd, we'd all get up and sort of in the uh, room upstairs, have a few beers, a pie, yep, yep. and watch uh, World of Sport. Watch World of yes, Sport. Yes, that's right. Um, Did you ever win anything on World of Sport? Um, only the, the, the goal of the small, day the small, or a mark of the yeah, day. Yeah. Did no, you get the Pataki hand? <laughs> no, I, I never... No, I, I, unfortunately, I won goal of the year on ABC where... That's right. And what year was that? And, in 84. 84. And, and Conlon won it. Mick Conlon at Fitzroy won it on Channel 7. I think yes. he won a car. But and would you win? <laughs> That'd be right. Would you, you win, win on the bike? ABC? I didn't win anything. I didn't just win anything. Just, just, just the, the, the honour. <laughs> 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 so but we get to this. Now we get to 87. Yeah, we'll get this to 87. is the year. Yes, right? yes. And you, again, you start that year pretty strong. Yeah, How no. many best on ground in eight games? I had five, five in the first eight. Yeah. yeah, it was a good start. Well, according to the umpires, you were, that's for sure. Nah, yeah. So 15 start. votes in the brown line in the first eight games of the season. You yeah. were flying. Yeah, no. You know, if you had kept that up for the rest of the season, you would have finished on a record amount of brown yeah. 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 But um, obviously, you know, nothing lasts forever. But um, there was a tragic incident that unfortunately interrupted everyone's season, really, in a lot of ways. But you happened to be pretty close to the action when young Peter Motley was unfortunately involved in a very severe car accident. You know, I think it was around May, it might have been Yeah, May. Uh, from memory it might have been... Um, May of I could be out by, well, I think it was round six. You yeah. know, it's, it, was the, it was the Thursday night before the Geelong game out yep. of Waverley. Yeah. Um, yeah, and look, you know, some people know, most don't. The, I, I was involved in that accident um, with Moths, and in terms of not... My car didn't, obviously... You were following I was, him. I was following him in yeah. the car that actually collided Right. With Mott's actually ricocheted basically and, and wiped out. My car was a write off as well. Yeah. But um, yeah, look, at, a terrible night. You know, um, you know, the. the uh, Can you just describe to us what happened with that accident? Yeah, very yeah, briefly? yeah. Just, just briefly. So as I said, we'd finished Thursday training. What, what we used to do after every um, Thursday night was have have a meal together as a team. Yeah. And then probably have a half hour. Well, we would have a half hour meeting um, where we'd go through the the opposition. Yep. And, um, and and some of our game strategy, and then we all head home. And and Mots was sharing was living in a house out in Ivanhoe um, at the time, and I was sharing a house in Ivanhoe with with Glazer, David Glasgow. So he so was sharing we, with Brattles, was he? Yeah, he was sharing right. with Brattles. Yep. Yep. And so we let we got to. Um, I was behind him. We were just proceeding through traffic. We got to the corner of Alexander Parade mm -hmm. and Smith Street, which yes. I think is in by then. It's almost. North Cliff, Fitzroy. Cliff, North Fitzroy still, yeah, right? Yeah. Uh, and we're both heading out, obviously, east, heading east. Yeah. The lights went green. Um, Knights took off in front of me. I took off behind him. We were probably doing 50k. We got to the end of sort of the other side of the tram zone. 
Um, this is where you're about to go into Heidelberg Road? Well, where, where does it become, um, it will eventually come, we, if we keep going, you'll go yeah. across the overpass. Yes. The yes. Hill overpass. Yes. Um, but we don't, it's yeah, we'd only got probably around 50 metres away. We crossed the intersection, obviously, yep. and we were heading up the yep. continuation of Alexander Parade. What, is it Queen's Parade at that point? It's Queen's Parade. It's Queen's, Queen's Parade, sorry. Yep. And um, my, all I remember is Moths would have been a car length in front of me, and just from his driver's side, just right. a car, and it was obviously because it had jumped the tr the, um, the the concrete. Um, yeah, the middle bits. Of yeah, middle bits. Yeah. When the car the car came into Monster's driver's side at a forty five degree angle. It, it was like it, it was like it flew in right into his car. Door. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely into his driver's no door. He got hit, yeah, so that that knocked his car completely out of view. Um, it knocked. We were in the inside lane. It knocked him across the. Yep. The uh, sorry, you call that the outside. He knocked him into the inside lane and then onto a grass sort of um, mm -hmm. verge. Um, it just seemed like slow mo. But the next thing I realised, the car that the car that hit him is still in motion. It was spinning, and it actually then took off basically my whole everything right up to the bonnet. Wow. Um, so I, your car was hit as well. Oh yeah, no, I, I saw it when I realised I was going to. I just closed my eyes, hung onto the wheel, for, you know, for dear life. And wow. Um, when I opened, it, obviously. He, he, he was he was gone. Monster's car was gone. Um, Mike, when I looked at the steering wheel, I'd actually bent it right back. Wow. Just holding on. Just yeah. the force. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So um, on itself. So um, I'm blurry. On you know, no doubt. I, I think I was in shock. But I'm. I got out of the car. I think I said to you guys earlier. I, from what I'd seen. Yeah. I. I was. I didn't think it was survivable. Right. I, yeah. I didn't think he would have. Well, done. seeing a car go straight into his driver's door, you yeah, must have at a fair worst. at a fair speed too. You must have um, feared the worst. And, and, and look, I, I you know, I told you, I think that guy had obviously lost control coming down the other way. Yeah, um, he crossed the tram lines and then and and, and, and crossed a couple of curb, you know, whatever was put there, the dividers. Mm. Um, he uh, and there was speculation. I think that driver claimed that he'd been cut off by a four wheel drive. Yeah. So it's a bit unclear about what occurred. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so you know, and, you know, by the time I think I got to Monster's car, I think fortunately a doctor that lived in one of the houses came alongside out. had come oh, out, wow. was already directing. So, so you had been involved in, in, in an accident yourself. I mean, your own car's probably out of action, is it? Is it under? Oh, it's the whole front's it's, gone. It's written yeah. off. So, yeah. so your car can't be driven. So no. you've gotten out of the car. Are you okay? Did you cop any? Yeah, cuts and bruises. No, and no, 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 no. Oh. We'll do it another time, mate. Yeah, we'll do. Shane? All the best. Thanks, Shane. <laughs> that was Shane O'Sullivan. Um, That's okay. Yeah, so... So, so you no, no, I, no, no, look, the other other than probably... Um, bit of shock. Bit of maybe whiplash. Right. Nothing, right? I was uh, um, unscathed. Um, certainly in shock, right? And, and, and there's more people. Yeah. Brattles ended up... He got home, but I think... I, what I... Um, once I worked out there's a doctor there, yeah. I, I went into a house and rang the club. Right. I think that from then the club might have rang Rattles. Yep. Rattles right. had got home by that time, turned around and came back. back. And I think from memory, maybe a couple of others, but I certainly remember Ross Henshaw, yeah. I think was one of the under-19 coaches. Yeah. There he, would have been ambulances and he, police. Oh, yeah, no, they, they, yeah, they, yeah, they were all there. But yeah. um, I remember... So was Mott's uh, taken to hospital straight away? Yeah, look, it took a while to... Um, they spent a bit of time, I think, from you know, getting him out. I, I, my, my recollection is... Um, the doc might have been even out a newspaper. He got he. Um, a lot of people are convinced it was me that that, that, that helped, but I'm. I'll be honest, I can't remember it. Yeah. Right? Okay. But um, I know. All, my recollection is that the doctor sort of took control. Um, yeah. Braces, used, yeah. used a uh, newspaper to make a brace. Yes. Um, got him sta You know, stabilised. He was out. Right. He was, he was in. A, he was out. And he I think been, he ended yeah. up being in a coma for a few days. Yeah. Right? Wow. Um, and they eventually got into the ambulance and the ambulance took off and I remember at the time Brattles, we both went to the hospital mm. um, and you know I might have stayed there for an hour, it soon became pretty, you know, no one was going to be able to see him or stuff like yeah. that. I yeah. certainly, yeah. Brattles remained, I ended up going home yeah. a couple of hours after that. Yeah. Um, so look it was a terrible night, you know, we talk about... Um, he could easily have been killed. He, I, so I, as I said to you both earlier, mm. it, it, it's it's bittersweet, right? In in, mm. in in a way that he, I, I thought he, I didn't think he could survive it from what I'd seen. Right. Um, lots of people said if he wasn't as fit as he was, he wouldn't have survived that first night. Mm. Yeah. So it's fantastic that he survived, right? Of course. The, 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 the other side of it is, 
we, we know that at that time he just found his feet. He, oh. he was playing, for, you know, uh, it was like a, it was he was like playing a terrific. Was he he, he sort of he 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 had actually locked in half back. Yeah. yeah, he was. Um, so that's the you know what could have been is yeah. obviously yeah. what people think, but yeah. but he could have been lost to us too. So true. Yeah, that's it's, right. It's, you know when um, so that all happens, and when do you go back to the club? Like that week. Yeah. Look so at what happens when you. So naturally, you go back to the club, and then you, you all play, get. To, did you play that week, or did you have it off? Yeah, you got, you've got to remember this is before I think there was any any understanding of counselling and. Yeah. yeah. Um, but that's look, what I was going to ask. It's not like the, the club. I remember um, going down the next morning um, with Colo, you know, sitting down. Yep. Not really. Um, um, just talking about you know what happened. Mm, um, yeah. I remember um, you know again that next day. I remember. Um, uh, Bruce McAvaney was outside reporting at the time, and he, yep. he, I remember he asked me if I wanted to say, and I, I declined. I didn't, you know, didn't feel like saying anything. Um, we just, um, but I, play, the, as I said, that game Geelong. So two days later, mm. I, I played. Um, yep. The, the yeah, it was difficult, you know, for the whole club, as you'd understand. Yep. Of course. Um, so and we actually won the game. Right? Yeah, we won the game. Um, you know, I think uh, Mott spent was, a lot of time. You know, I'm just trying to piece yeah. it. Mott would have spent weeks in hospital. Yes, absolutely. Um, and then it was great. Late, you know, he started to be able to come down mm. to the club yeah. Yeah. to start to attend a, a few games. So, you know, we talk about that. That year for me, and for it was a very emotional year. Yeah. It was. Um, there was that. We obviously had Des English. Yep. Um, while towards the end of the career, he was battling cancer. Yeah, and, so, and obviously retired at the yeah. end of 86. So, you that. know, we were driven by, yeah. by those events. By yeah. what what do, you happened. do you talk about it? Like, do you get together and, and, you, and you know, like Motley, Des English, uh, it, within the group, are you... Galvanised? Yeah, you guys mentioning it, saying, right, right. this is for yeah, the... Yeah, not, it's not like, um, it's almost unsaid. Yes. It, that's not to say it wasn't mentioned, right? Yeah. We, you know, amongst, but, but certainly it wasn't... It wasn't coached in that yeah, way. Do you know what I mean? mean yep. Certainly, certainly, Wolsey wasn't playing on it. None of that. Yep. We certainly had the, yeah, between ourselves. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, yeah. and you didn't have to say it. We, yeah. we, we. we um, yeah, I mean, there was like I, I said. I, you know, I felt that we were destined to win that year. Yeah. Um, yep. And I, I spoke. You know, I, I guess my. Mm. Um, you know, after that initial, um, you know, coming out of the blocks pretty well and having those. Having those games, um, my form fell away. If pretty bad. Affected you? Yeah, yeah. Then yeah. Really it would have affected you. Well, I, I, look, I'm, I, anyone. I'm not. I, I mean, you've just I, seen one of your mates just get yeah, all but, 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 in a but, car but, but I, I, to be honest, Vincent, uh, you know, Rocker, I, I, I can't make that connection with yeah. my form dropped off. The yeah. other, I did obviously. Uh, I think I needed a groin operation. My groin was starting to play up. Right. Um, but for me. I, you know, I mean, it's yes, it was a tra- it was a traumatic event, yeah. and it wasn't under you know, um, you know, it was really in that time it was just around you just got on with it. Yeah. Sure. Um, so, I, you know, I don't spend too much time thinking about. It. Sure. Um, I, I just count myself very fortunate as it was because I got dropped twice. Right. Mm. I got dropped later in the season. Came back for the finals. Yes. Played in the first final. Played poorly. Got dropped. Mm. Sorry. Played. Got dropped twice in home and aways. Yeah. Um, one at around the midpoint, and then I got dropped after the last home and away round against North, where yep. Sticks kicked that goal. Yes, yeah, so I remember yes, that. After yeah. Signs of Butchers on top of my ladder. Yeah. <laughs> that was I, on my nineteenth. I had a poor game, and I didn't. I didn't play <coughs> in the um, the qualifying final qualifying. away, right? right? Where we um, against Sydney Swans. No, against Hawthorne. Out at Waverley. That was the second semi. No. Well, sorry, it's the second semi then. Yeah. Right. So oh, sorry, we had the week's rest. They yes. played the Sydney. That's correct. That's yeah. Right. So yeah, it was our first final. Sorry. So we only right. played the two finals. You're right. The second semi. And yeah. I didn't play in that. Yeah. And I, I was getting. And I'll tell you how bad. How bad. Six. We played Sydney. I'll tell you how bad it was. I, I thought my season was well and truly over. I was playing in the reserves. Yeah. Against Hawthorne as well. Yeah. And I spent the last quarter. Mm. Cole Kinnear, who was coach of reserves, had moved me down to full back. Full <laughs> back. <laughs> and I reckon. And you I must have thought I'm, I'm, I'm a long. I said I'm a long way away from the senior. From you know, ruck raving in the senior team. Funny you should say all this. There, you mentioned the form drop off, and you got dropped a couple of times. You said, "Did anyone come up to you, whether it was Wolsey or anyone else, and say, listen, mate, 
I know you've probably been affected by the Motley incident and all that, but no, you don't want to. You don't want to have no. your career go right off the rails. Because no, did anyone sort of try and get you back on track? Was it? Oh, look, no, even, even someone close to you, like family or. A I, close I'll be honest. There was no talk around. Um, and again, it's a, it's 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 the times, right? That's yeah. right. There was no talk. No around counseling. no none of that and, and look no, what, psych, no psychologist at the club or anything like that no like that oh, look we, we, we'd had psychologists at the club uh, we had Laurie Hayden wasn't that a priest but he wasn't there that, you know <laughs> over time you know in, yeah. in, in, even before that we'd had right. um, we had Laurie Hayden who was the <coughs> psychologist for the um, successful America's Cup oh, right, ah. with John Bertram yeah, yes, he yes. was there for yep. a few years yep. uh, under Parkin yep. right eh? but no there was none of and look and I had I don't hold any um, ill will or anything, right? Because that's I right. didn't think I, I I wasn't looking for it. I didn't even know. Yeah, yeah that's right. Um, look, Walsey uh, pulled me aside the, the, the first time I got dropped, and mm-hmm. was, he just because I wasn't I, I wasn't playing well, right? And just said, look, after we, getting off the we're going to give best and best on ground in the first day. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to give you a spell. Uh, yep. We think you, you need know, just to get your confidence back. I mean, I was shattered. Sure, but. Um, um, you I took it on the chin. Well, I didn't have much choice. It's not like I argue. I think yeah. you made the wrong call. I think I. <laughs> yeah. So you um, took it on the chin. I took it on the chin. Yeah. Um, I think I might have had one or two, two in the reserves. Then got back in. As yeah. I said, um, played another couple. Still was off. Off you know, the boil. I was off form. Mm. Um, didn't have a great game against North in that final final home and away. Mm. And really was very very fortunate. As I said to you earlier, you know, if, for people who remember Peter Satori. Yeah, he got corked in that game. He was another recruit we and got he over in 87. Yeah, and unfortunately, um, he didn't re- respond well to corks, so he didn't come up. Yep. If he had have been right, he, he would have played. Yep. And I think Bernie Evans yep. certainly would have played if he hadn't been suspended. He so, got suspended. Yeah, in right. he got suspended. So, as it turned out, Fraser Murphy and myself yep. came in. And, yep. and, and, and justice for, for Fraser, he just missed out. He the, missed out by suspension before. the year before. The right? year before, yes. that's right, I remember. So, um, yeah, I remember. Yeah, I found my way back in. Um, which and you kicked the goal on the green Kicked the goal, yeah. yeah. I remember, um, remember falling over straight after you kicked I it. Do, <laughs> I do, I do, yeah. I do. Yeah. And, uh, you slipped on your... Um, yeah, almost was, almost I, did an ankle Well, well I think it might have been even the, cr- the, the cricket pitch. It was, it was yeah. really rock hard ground. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, I lost my footing. Yeah. Um, that didn't matter. You kicked it. Well, it actually hurt because I'd broken my hand. I'd broken my wrist in the qualifying final in the reserves. Oh, two, oh. Weeks. <laughs> two weeks before. <laughs> Unbelievable. And obviously... With, every, with the way things are, I'm certainly not taking it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not telling anyone, man. I'm bleeding. So I, I went and got it. But, but it's, again, it's, I went and got it. Out, running out onto the ground in the 87 grand final, yep. Hawthorne again. You'd beat them in the second semi final, just like you had the previous year. Yep. Obviously, vastly different feeling in the rooms before the game. Yeah. As you said, you felt like, no, nah, we're winning this one. Oh, look, I, I remember um, Thursday night training. You know, I knew, you know, I sort of tried to, yep. I knew that obviously. Um, Bernie had been suspended, and he yeah. was very unlucky. I think very he, would that. Look, he yeah. wouldn't have gone for that today. I don't know. No. He would have so got a thousand dollars. Satori didn't come up, so I knew I was in the front. You know what I mean? I, yeah. I'm a chance. Walsy, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I always train hard. <laughs> no, but, but Walsy kindly um, sort of put me out of my you know misery. He grabbed me. I think we were doing circuit work, and he you're playing. He, mu- he must have seen I was a little bit maybe nervous, and he said, "Relax, you're in." Right wow. from that point on. You just thought fantastic. Yeah, 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 no, it's relief. Yeah, yeah no, and I remember. I think I told you earlier. I went home that night and I said, "I'm in the, I'm in the premiership team." I, yeah. That unlike the other year where we were confident. Yeah. We were absolutely, and I'm not the only one. Yeah. I talked to teammates. Yeah. We were absolutely certain we were going to win that. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, Must have been good to know that you were going to have a, a hot day when Hawthorne had came off yeah. such a grueling, a grueling four week in succession um, final series where they had to play every single match. Just getting over Melbourne after the siren when Jimmy, Jimmy Stones went over the mark. Yeah, which, we, right, which obviously yeah. we, we went to that game as yeah. we because we, we knew we were watching one of them was going to be our, our opponent. Yeah. Uh, Did you have a preference who you wanted to play? Is there? Um, no, look, of, of the two, um, no, not really. I mean, it was really we were such a frame of mind that the way, was it, that, that we were going we to. It was almost better to play Hawthorne because they were the ones that knocked you off well, the year before. Well, I think so they were. They, they, we we would have found Hawthorne yeah. um, easy motivation. The more, well, the more challenging, yeah. because they, they, you know, I got no doubt excited. they were the better side of the two. Mm. But whoever it was, well, you know, we, 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 we were going to beat them, right? We, we just had that that, that feeling right through the club, right through the player group. I reckon if we had played Melbourne, they would have gone in with a sentimental favourite type thing with the crowd and all the rest of it. I yeah. 
uh, look, and the they, they, they were probably done too. Yeah. I mean, when you look at it, they were pretty much done. Robbie Flair had done an injury as well, and he was yeah. never going to play the grand final. And they were they were a bit of a, a nervous mess in that last quarter in the preliminary final. If yeah. you remember, they were missing easy shots. And when you saw Michael Tuck come out with her, like a short sleeve, did you go? <laughs> That's a good point, Rocco. Did you go right? Game's ours, mate. He's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, because we, we noticed, we noticed really that straight away. The heat. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's funny because um, I, mean, I probably wouldn't was. have followed it through. I remember um, in 86, <coughs> I played on Tuck just about yeah. the whole game when I was half forward. And I've never, and I admire Tuck. I mean, I watched him play oh, a lot of One of the greatest right. players of all time. But I've never been given so. I mean, he he was old school. He was pinching. Yeah. He was, every time I tried to take off, he was just, yeah. you couldn't get away with it. But obviously, <laughs> Unreal. He was playing within the rules then, you know, you yeah, could get yeah. away. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I promised myself that I stood him in that grand final, I was going to, and he started it, I was going to whack him. So, <laughs> so, so <laughs> fortunately, I, I never, that never happened. <laughs> <laughs> I, I actually played on airs and jinky, and we sort of cancelled. I mean, I think I got 12 I didn't obviously feature, Yeah. Um, but we cancelled each other out. Yeah. I, think, but I had airs for a short time. Um, Sorry, I said that airs and, and Jenky and one other yeah. opponent throughout the game, but um, yeah, like I, we were talking about it before. You know, the having lost the the motivation we got from having lost the year before, that sets you up in a way if you use it, does. it right. It does we, we talked about what happened with Mots and Dares? We were really that was really driving yep. us, um, and then things that sort of played into you know the hard, grueling game we we watched Hawthorne versus Melbourne, and then the hot day and yep. Dunstall not coming up. For Hawthorne, obviously, made a difference. Mate, All the yeah. planets, yeah. 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 exactly. The yeah. planets seem to align. When did you know, like during the game? When did you know you had it won? Is there a point, like in the last quarter? Yeah, it was. It, look, as, as much. Is as there we, a point where, or you're always worried they're going to come no, back? No, no. Like I said, we were never worried. You yeah. know what I mean? It's and look, Hawthorne was such a great side. Yeah. I said to you guys earlier, we didn't shake them off till three quarter time. Till after right. three quarter time, that's right. We felt in control, but I, I don't think the gap was ever much more than say six, 10, 16 points at any yeah. until I until think, the end. Yeah, and, and I reckon about ten into the last. Yeah, it, it just the floodgates opened. Yeah, you know, and that's it. And we, yeah. we knew we were hard. Six kick one, and the one that I reckon nailed it was. And it's funny, I should use the word nailed it. I reckon it was <laughs> nailing. Yeah, yeah, when yeah. he ran away from yeah, them, right. those piston little legs of his. Yeah, that's right. And I remember. And, and Hawthorne were just flat footed and exhausted, and he we just had ran it. away. If the kick wasn't that flash, but it went straight no, through. That's for all yeah. no, that I think, was I when think, I knew. And I think Sticks kick one on the run. I think yeah, Adrian yeah. Gleeson had come on yeah. and kicked yeah. the yes, nice goal. Fraser Murphy yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah. Fraser Murphy. Yeah. Sorry. So yeah. No, it w- so what's that initial feeling? Oh, it's it's a strange one because it's sort of um, it, it was fantastic, right? Yeah, it, of it was. Yes. Of course. But, then, but at a moment, I did have a moment where I sort of you know because as a child, it's a childhood dream, and yes, and it's almost when it happened, it was like this is it. You know, how do I feel about it? It's just, yeah. <laughs> but um, it was awesome. This you know? is it. This is it. This is yeah, it. This we, is in a moment, we just, a reflection just. And it was a hot day. You must have been pretty, it, it pretty was very, tired yourselves by the end of it. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. That, I mean, uh, Hawthorne was spent. They were gone. But you guys would have also felt the, felt the heat. Oh, no, it was a gr- it, it, it was, was a, a tough game. game. I mean, look, a couple of our players. Matt, I was exhausted. Um, no, all they did was sit down, <laughs> in the, sit down in the back pocket. <laughs> Mick, I didn't know at the time. I was but, cooking in the sun, 33 but, degrees. But Mick, Mick Kennedy <laughs> and um, David Glasgow, I think, were late yes. to the celebration. Because they were on trips. They were on, they were um, on trips. Hydration trips. Yeah, yeah. They really, because they both had go with roles. Exactly. And, um, you know, Glaser would have run himself, both of them. Yeah. Uh, they were tr- had terrific endurance, particularly yeah. Mick Kennedy. Yes. But, yeah. um, he was huge. That it game took a toll on a few yeah. on, on few players from both sides. Uh, How was Wolsey after the after the premiership win? Was he jovial and happy and yeah, smiling, or was yeah. he already talking about now? You blokes don't go too hard because we've got another premiership to win. Oh next no, year. no, no, Wolsey. Because um, I think I think, no, I think he, he would even admit to you that he probably should have celebrated that a little bit more than what he did. Yeah, look, I think. Uh, in fact, he told us that in an interview. Yeah, yeah no, he, he's look. He was he enjoyed it. I'm sure he enjoyed it. Yes. Sure. I think from memory, um, the speech might have, he may have fallen into the trap mm. of maybe sort of talking about next year already. Next year already. Next year, <laughs> um, Rather than just celebrating what yeah, we've done. Yeah, and look, yeah. he's not the, the first or the last no. to do that. Yeah. I think you know why though, don't you? Because all of the powers that be above him yeah. are already onto him, you know. Yeah. But, but, uh, the pressure's on. Yeah, but, away. but, uh, yeah. I mean, I think he enjoyed it a lot. Sure. He, he, for him, to, he might have felt he should have enjoyed it. Do you it know when more. he stopped enjoying it? 
No. When, he when got you to went to London about a month later, wow. and played North Did, Melbourne. Were you we, at that game? No, I, I played the oh. year before. Right. Yeah. So you missed out on the Battle of Britain. The Battle of Britain didn't include you. I wouldn't have got picked for that side anyway, because <laughs> in, in 86, I think I ran the wrong way for 40 metres. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, that, that's, 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 that's the one in Tokyo or something. No, no. Well, I didn't go. The, 87 was the Tokyo, uh, London, then Tokyo. See, there was two. Well, 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 86 well, was the first Courage Cup. Was that in England as in, well? On the Oval. Yeah. Who did we play then? North, both years. Again? Yeah. So look, I don't even remember that. Anyway, yeah, what, no, did so you run 40 minutes? What happened? I'll tell you what happened. Well, <laughs> I blame... I think John Kennedy was a coach. I blame North. No, be, <laughs> no because we, we played a grand final, right? And, um, sure. And they, look, sorry, I'm joking, because they're, they're a great group. We, so we were both over there for that game. Mm-hmm. Um, we were obviously... It was the end of our year. We'd lost the grand final. We're in, you know, um, end-of-season mode. Of course. Right. But, yeah. and, and so were the North players. But I think John Kennedy... I th- the opportunity we're on the it's on national TV yeah right we're yeah. going to give a good account of ourselves I mean I think half of, we were hung over going into that game most of yeah. our side right I'm not sure and I'm, I'm sure Jimmy Buckley had only just finished his last uh, bourbon and oh, about yeah. half an yeah. hour so, yeah. so we're, I think I think I remember Harmsy in the first taking having a kick a goal from the half forward flank I think <coughs> I think he took a divot out of the oval about six <laughs> inches deep <laughs> and the ball went about a metre I, I, I got the ball on the wing I think in the second quarter and I, I, and I dodged a couple I said this is good I'm in Bit of touch here, and, looked, looked, <laughs> and then looked, you know, run about fifteen minutes, and looked up, and what's Bruce still doing? At <laughs> and just as he, just as just I saw him, John Russo, who was umpiring, said, "Turn around!" <laughs> so for, oh, I was just about to kick it. So fortunately, I didn't kick it. I just did this big arc, yeah, yeah, and like got a handball away to a teammate, but it, it wasn't a good look. I think Cole can hear Walsey didn't come across in '86. Walsey, yeah. uh, I think he got on the phone. He said, "What?" The <laughs> what the hell is Molly Melbourne doing? <laughs> <laughs> um, then you go into another year where obviously the plan is to go back to back, as Ballsy had uh, already articulated at the grand final dinner that night at the Southern Cross Hotel. Um, what was yeah? You know, what was motivating you guys? Did you did you feel like you could go again and again and again, or did you think? Yeah, and I, and I think the years. I mean, we we really. I think. Um, you know, we're over the rain. We're over the rain. Yeah, that's what I'm. You know, it was a great year. We didn't really fall away till. I remember round one. Everyone thought Carlton's preseason was pretty ordinary as yep. it usually was, and we come up against the, the, the well, against Hawthorne mm. again in a grand final rematch. And everyone thought, no, nah, Hawthorne's going to smack it here. It was at Princess Park. Do you remember that game? I do. Yeah. Guess who debuted that game? In '88. A bloke by the name of Kernahan. David. 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 Okay. Remember that? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh, sorry. You played, you played I played the half. He played the half. Yeah. Forward. yeah. No, no. I didn't know that. Forward. I didn't know that was his first game. Yeah. 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 And um, and and we actually beat them in a very convincing, in very convincing fashion that day. It was a great game, and I thought, beauty, we're on here. We're we're um, we're off to a really good start. And we had a generally very very good year. Um, yeah, I no, totally but agree. It just. I don't know. Just no, we, we, we almost a little bit towards the end. Well, we lost our way in the. You know, it, I think we we're right in there at the finals. You know, we just had mm. to get over. We thought we could get over Melbourne, but we just weren't playing well enough. We beat Collingwood in a in a qualifying yes, final, which was a very good game. We we won by about forty five points, yeah. I think. Um, that was the last time, by the way, we've played Collingwood in a final. Yep. Nineteen eighty eight qualifying final. Long so time. that's thirty five years ago. Yeah. And. Then we lost two in a row. Hawthorne in the, semi, in the second semi at Waverley for the third year in a row um, that we played them. This was the first time that they beat us in the second semi. Mm. So they went straight into a grand final. And then we came up against Melbourne, who were obviously building on what they did the previous year in 87. And this time we played them in a prelim and they knocked us off. Yeah. And made their first grand final for, what, 24 years? Mm. Yeah, it was disappointing because you know. To, I agree I with you. Ricky, I think for Ricky most Jackson for most of the year we were pretty. Out. You know, we were um, we were very competitive. We were hoping to go all the way. Mm. It just didn't turn out. We seemed to our form. I mean, I didn't play. You know, first I didn't play as well as I would have liked in both those games. Right. Um, I probably wasn't the only one. But we we, we fell away. Um, what do you think caused that? Like, I mean, right at the business end of the year, you'd had such a good year, and I was very confident we'd go all the way again, but. Just something seemed to just oh, wow. taper off. I'm not sure what yeah, it was. Yeah, I, I, I can't put a finger on it. Was, yeah, Wal- no. was Wolsey still resonating with the boys? Were they? Did you feel like, yeah, we're still in, right in sync yeah. with the coach? Or do you think, 
even his message was starting to wane a little. No, I don't think anyone... I don't because, think of course, as we know, in 89, 10 rounds in and he's been sacked. So yeah. it was the start of it then? Oh, I think it was starting to happen then. Start, I, I, I certainly there. wouldn't have saying the message of being lost going into that, that final series. No way. No. We, we, we were... Just up against like the Like you said, we, we'd pretty been, been top or near well, thereabouts, top, you know, all year. And let's be honest, Melbourne were really starting to... Yeah, no, we just got, to you know, we, we probably weren't where we needed to be form-wise. And it was just enough yeah. for those teams. Uh, Hawthorne was a great side, right? Yeah. And again, yeah. they were the position being reversed. We'd beat them, so they were yes. coming back. Yes. They'll come back again. Um, you know, yeah. hungry again. And yeah. Melbourne, as you said, were on that rise yeah. after getting close. And they just... They had some really good players too. They just edged us. They just caught us. You know, it was the start of Gary Lyons' career, sort of in that. Uh, yeah. around there. That was maybe his third year of football. Yep. You know, they had Spalding at the time. They had a lot of good. Ricky Jackson, I think, kicked about yeah, four or five goals right. in that good, prelim Great final. small forward. Yep. So they were starting to really yeah. peak, and mm. and we just waned off. I'm not sure. Yeah, were like there I, some injuries. Do you remember at that time? I can, to be honest, I, no, I don't think we were we no. were that depleted. Um, I think it's one of those things, man. It just like it just didn't happen. Yeah. The, it didn't happen at the end of the year. I mean, you yeah. were playing good the football team up to then. I, I think it came down. Like it's not like you know. I don't recall. I don't think we were falling away as the season ended. We came in mm. pretty confident, mm. but we just didn't give it. You know, we didn't play the way we wanted to in those two mm. games. Mm. And, yeah. um, and the other teams did. They did. Yep. You uh, remember, and then you. Well, I suppose there. Then you had a few. What What year did you retire? Ninety two. Ninety two. So you yeah. played all the way to ninety two. Yeah. And um, do you remember? Oh, well, we go. You play a few more years. You're playing some decent football. When do you know that? Oh, it's time to give it up. Is there when you start? Oh, okay, you're just losing some pace. You're starting to about a year after college. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, no. Look, it's a good question because yeah. um, those, those <coughs> you talk about so eighty nine, ninety nine. They really become injury interrupted yes. years for me. Um, yeah. I think. Two of those seasons, two of those seasons, I miss half seasons. Yeah. Um, ankle operation um, yeah. might have been both cases. Ankle op, so it sort of started to get real trouble in my right ankle. Um, so I think I missed the first half of one of the seasons, the second, or maybe the second half of one season. No, mm. it might have been first half of both seasons. Yeah. Um, but when I came back in, I was playing okay. Yeah. Ninety-two was a nightmare because ninety-two. Um, as it turned out to be my last year, I had a good pre-season. I felt good. Um, we did some sprints on the number one oval, um, probably about four weeks out from the season, and got through them okay. Pushed pretty hard, and when I woke up the next morning, I felt like I'd torn both hammies. Wow! I couldn't, could barely move. move right? Yeah. One of them settled down after a, uh, after about a week. I, I'd never done a hammy before. Didn't really. Were so, they hammies or were they just tired? Well, up? as it turned out, they weren't. Yeah. It was actually um, back. I didn't find it until much later. I was treating them as hammies, so I had the cautionary four weeks off. Never done one. Yeah. And I had the luxury, the season didn't start for a month. Yeah. Um, so I rested and it just, the right one just never came. Were they back related? Yeah. Sort of that's, that's, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, obviously, as I tried, I had everything. I, yeah. um, I had four weeks off, then I came back round two, I think, North Melbourne. It was the time I think they, they might have opened the Southern Stand. Okay. Yeah. The, the new one. one. Yeah. The new one. Yeah. The first one that might have been. The oh, new one, which is well, the sorry, old one. Now. Sorry, that was the first time we played the MCG, and I think the Southern Stand had been opened. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. The Great um, Southern Stand. Yeah. Maybe not that night, but so it was, it was the first time I'd seen yeah, it playing yeah, in a game. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. But um, and I, look, just probably by pure luck, because I couldn't move freely. Um, I came on. I think I, I started on the interchange. Came on early because someone got injured, and I kicked a goal. Got a mm. few possessions. And did enough to play the following week. My last game of AFL footy was at Carlton against Sydney, and I did not touch the ball. I couldn't get near it. So yeah. That, so you, you, did you know you were done at that stage? I, did I, you think I might have just played my last game of football? I knew that I probably would struggle. I, I was going to do, You're do some struggle time, to get another game. Do some yeah. time in the reserve, right? So, yeah. um, but I did. I thought it was an injury I could get over, and if I could, then I could do what I'd had in the previous two seasons and play yeah. well enough to yeah. to be able to reassess myself. You always had belief in yourself. Yeah, right? and, and look, I, I mean, if I didn't get injured, I think I probably I finished at thirty two. I probably yeah. injury free. I certainly could have played a couple of years. That's yeah. my view. But yeah. um, so so I had seven weeks off after that. Yeah, and then I ended up playing. I mean, it was so I obviously was trying to get back in the side, but then at some point I realised I'm done because to play the reserves, I was getting an injection before the game at half time, just to. To get through the game? To get through, right. Wow. And um, as I said, as it turned out, I ended up seeing 
orthopaedic surgeon and he conf- I had scans and he confirmed no, that's a symptom. It was actually the uh, back. I had a nerve being pinched by uh, like a drop disc or, or a, yeah. a fractured piece of um, bone. bone. And um, the only way I would have ever fixed it was to fuse it. Yeah. So, so isn't it funny how most of these injuries start happening around that 30, yeah. 30 years of age yeah. and, and beyond? So, you know, while I, I felt I was hopefully I could at the t- when the season ended, I thought I can get this fixed, yeah. surgeon, you know, get yeah. it fixed and I'll yeah. be a, but the club made the right call. I you know, I, I didn't agree with it at the time, but right. they knew I was done. Yeah. And um, I ended up playing The last person who knows he's done is the player. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well you never want to leave thinking you could have played another <coughs> So you're right. always gonna throw you know, I like most, I loved it. You know, you, yeah, you don't want to feel you've left early. Mm-hmm. Um, but as the club did make the right call, I played three years um, in the Ballarat League with Bacchus Marsh after that. Yes, you did. Um, right. It enjoyed that. I loved it. Yeah, yeah, I coached. I captain coached him for the final two years, so I loved okay. it. But um, you know, that confirmed. Re- really, I knew that I didn't have right. I, I, my body. I could no longer no play longer the level play that, AFL that, that I thought yeah. I could have. So. Um, you know, Did you get any close to a grand final? We got, we got into a grand final. Okay. Yeah, we, we um, and look, um, I'd never thought about coaching. I sort of fell into it. Um, spent a year there as a player, and I, and I thought I could offer something. Yeah. Um, j- just with the experience I'd had and exposure mm. I'd had, mm. and they 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 put it to me, and, and and but it also coincided with some them a recruiting drive. They picked up some great players. Okay. Um, I never. I don't think I was ever a great coach. Did you get any of the Carlton boys over there? Oh, Spiro well. Cooker Millis played. Oh, oh no! Yeah. 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 yeah, got him down there. Yeah, and, we've uh, interviewed Cooker. Yeah, yeah. So, last year. Yeah, so he runs his bike shop. Yeah, 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 yeah it's down in Sydney Road. So, um, so the first year we got into the finals, mm-hmm. uh, I think it was a five, and we went out in straight sets. Second year, we actually got into the grand final against. If you remember North Bell Road at that time, they were, yes, they that were was the strong. best team in Victoria. Very right? strong under. Um, Alan Ezard at the time, mm-hmm. and um, we actually beat them. Good Coburg boy. Yeah, the last home and away, which got us the double chance, we actually beat them at their home round by five. Po- it was the first time they'd been beaten in six years or something, right? So, <laughs> wow. But that we probably peaked a bit early. They were a super team. Yeah. They they beat us comprehensively in the grand final. But yeah, uh, but uh, yeah, no, I love. Yeah, it right. was a nice way to go out. You know, I enjoyed, nice. enjoyed going back to sort of grassroots. Can I just ask you quickly about those last four years that you played? Sure. When you you obviously saw Walls get sacked, that must have been a bit of a shock at the time, or, or did you see that coming? Uh, you never see it coming. Um, what I mean is, did you detect it maybe? Oh, look, I, I knew. A bit? I, he I, even concedes, I knew I lost the players. Oh no, I, I agree that, that by that point time um, he probably had lost the players in terms of the message wasn't yeah. getting through. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. we no. weren't playing well. Um, yeah. And and he, he wasn't able to turn it around. So yeah, yeah I agree with that. Yeah. Um, what I'm saying is, I didn't see, uh, you know, I didn't see it coming in. Oh, he's gone this week. You know, no right. one saw that coming no, after right. a Brisbane game. I think Kappa yeah. kicked the guy. Yeah, <laughs> so no, well, yeah. We come in the Tuesday Brisbane night, game. and and, and um, Wolves is gone, and you know, Jeselinko's been flung well, down. How did you find Jezza as a coach for what? It, well, almost two years. In fairness to him, a year and a half. In so. fairness to him. Um, because, as I said, he was my idol, right? So that was... Yeah, well, that's what I was going to ask. It was mm-hmm. interesting right. to suddenly, you know, late in your career to come up against... Mm. Or, or to play under mm. the, the, the player you'd idol, oh, idolise as, as, a, as a kid. kid. Um, look, I see that. I look at it as more... It was a... It was a sort of a, a hiatus between getting Park and, and Jezza put his hand up yeah. to fill that gap. In yeah. fact, Jezza had been out of the game... That's yeah, right. for almost over a period of terrific change, right? Yeah. I mean, you talk about the Sheedies, the Walls, the Parkins, and some. You, I, I see them as the innovators. Well, Malthouse obviously the same, but yeah. But over that period, you know, you started having set plays zones. Yeah. yeah. Um, I well, think each coach killed Jeff, her in 80, 81, yes, uh, maybe eighty two. Yeah, maybe, yeah. But like to that. come back um, seven years later in, in the late eighties, nineties, mm, um, totally different game by that stage. Yeah, eighty nine. And, and so, and do you think 90. his methods might have been a bit outdated? At oh, that they, they were. They were. We, we sort of, um, it was just we a time. We finished eighth in both years, by the way, 1989. Yeah, 99. and look, and probably that's where we deserved it. We weren't. So, so in other words, we, we weren't. We weren't better than that. We didn't make the finals. Yeah, yeah that's final right. Final five. Yeah, and look, I, I don't know, Carlton's, I think I see it as a a stop. It was like a, you know, they never saw, I, they never saw Jezza as the answer for the next five yeah, years. Right. He they was that Philly. They made, stop, they stop made a call stop game coach. mid to late season, yeah. right? Stabilising coach. And it's a stabilised, yeah. someone yeah. to, to, um, and, and look, I enjoyed. It was terrific to get to know him, and sure. And um, but it, it wasn't about Jezza 
Yeah. For the reasons I say, have been having it was not going to be. Yes. In, at that time, the, yep. the coach was going to turn the club around, and, yep. I, and I, I don't think that was ever the plan. Parkin, obviously, in the nineteen ninety, came along and cleared out a few players, and then basically tried the whole list in nineteen ninety one. We finished our lowest position ever in in ninety one, yes. being eleventh. But he he basically tested them all out: who can play, who can't. Cleared out a whole stack of them at the end of ninety one, and you happened to survive the cut. I survived 91. 91. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of but only for another year. <laughs> yeah, no, only for another year. Yeah. 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 yeah, no, look, I had a reason. Like I said, that was, um, I think, I certainly missed games in the early, se- yeah. early part of the season. But could you tell that through 92, even that was your last year, could you tell that we were building then into something that was going to be Oh, of course. Quite and, and they were the following was, year, we made a grand final. No, it was the right thing to do. You know, even at the time, you know, where I felt I was playing well enough to get another crack. Yeah. When you sort of detach this, you know, the right call was... There's no future in playing me. No. Right? It was about trying younger yes, players. Yes, yeah. So, yeah. you know, at the time, what it personally affected me, and I, I wanted of to get course. back in the team. Of course. Um, yeah. Yes. <coughs> it was the right thing to do, and the club were going down that, testing the list, trying out new players, giving younger players opportunity. Mm. That's what you need to be doing. That's you it. Know. That's it. Well, All right. right. What, a, what a wonderful story, the Paul Meldrum story. Yeah. Is. And there's, there's lots of... You know, intriguing folklore there in terms of how you first got a, you know, even a yeah, game yeah, even yeah. to start training with the team. That that was a great story, and and also the the tragedy of being yep. involved with the uh, the Peter Motley accident. Yep. But Premier through all the highs player. and lows, yep. you still achieved a hell of a lot. You played 158 games, kicked 140 exciting goals, Victorian interstate representative. And uh, of course, that uh, achieved your childhood dream. Yeah, yeah no, and look, I've got and the nineteen eighty seven. That's huge. I mean, I'm telling you. No, I'm very grateful for the. Um, you yeah. talk around the highs and lows, and that's part of any career. But yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm very grateful for the career I had, and and, and very for, feel very fortunate to play for the team I supported, and to be a one club player. So yeah, I've, what's it know, like coming back to the Carlton it's Football fantastic. Club? Here we are in the Legends locker room. We, we've yeah, yeah no, the, the change room's a little smaller than I remember. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> no, it's great. Look, I, 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 um, I haven't had a good look around, but just what I've seen, just coming into the foyer and, and mm. you guys having a bit of walk around the, muse- the Blues Museum, and yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah, you know, it's this, fantastic. This, this, uh, I wish I was, I wish I was starting my career again. Can we just ask you very briefly about the team today? Now, you played in an era where the culture was all about winning, wasn't it? It was yeah. all about success. What's happened? What I, do you put it down to? Look, I. In that respect, I'm, I'm just like you guys and every other Carlton supporter. Yeah. Right. Um, you know, I think every supporter has. Uh, it's it's frustrating, and I, I can feel. Mm. I feel, feel the frustration amongst supporters because I'm one of them. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we just. Um, I think. I suspect we probably played a little. You know, with with Voss's appointment last year. Yeah. Um, and, and the excitement that brings a new coach, bit of a change of culture. We p- probably played a little bit above ourselves. Yeah, um, we played some great footy, right? Yeah, mm. and then uh, as painful as it was because we lost some close ones when we you could argue we had the games mm. in the bag. Mm. We probably that probably took a bit of a toll on us. Though, those the, the nature of those losses. You mean those around. close losses? No, but Melbourne, Melbourne and Collingwood. Yeah. So that psychologically really plays on. Players oh, look, it, I think it can. You know, when you sort of you know, I mean, you talk about those sort of things like Collingwood for many years. The the um, the Collingwood who do you know? Oh yeah, around. the Collingwood. Yes, they can get to the grand final, but mm. they can't. Those sort of things. When you, um, you know, when you lose games, you expect to win. That can play on you, right? So, yeah. But look, I, I see it as um, so. There's maybe a combination. I could be totally wrong. Maybe a combination mm. of both. Mm. Um, you know, if you look at most players this year, they're probably not playing at the level they achieved last year. Yep. And so, if you look that across the team, the team can't be doing as well if that's happening. Yeah. Look, I still think. I think what they need to do is just keep faith in the system. Yep. Um, it worked for them last year. They've obviously got some work to do. There's probably a couple of players they need to add to that team. Do you know yep. what I mean? Of course. Um, we lack depth. Yep. Um, but but at, on our best, we, we play very competitive football mm-hmm. yep. that, that matches it with anyone. So we just gotta, we just got to do it consistently. I agree. And not do what can't always do and let's keep let's keep the faith in 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 the group and i think that's important the coach and that and you know that's important i think keep that because to start all over again man we're, we're gonna we're gonna go back to the bottom and start all over again i think that's important and and yeah i think we can uh if we just stick on it yeah couldn't agree more I, yeah. I think that the mistake will be and colin's been guilty of that you know they they rush in they try and get the uh, you, you know your your malthouse type coach Messiah, the yeah, Messiah. That, yeah the, the guy's going to deliver it in 
short space of time. It's mm. a, that's not the way. Even if and 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 I think Voss, you know, we all know what a terrific player was, and he's second round as coach. He'll evolve yep. in this role, right? Yep. I think let's stick with the coach. I think he's a good coach. Good. Um, maybe put other people around him yeah, that can help him. Yeah, yeah and I'm sure he'll do. You know, maybe he's a well, little deficient. Well, I, I think all coaching panels now are a collective. Yeah, you know, of, exactly. of the expertise across it. It's not yeah. a one. It's not a one man show. No, anymore, that's right. exactly. Yeah. Um, and st- the, yeah, I think there's a great core to this player group. You know, mm-hmm. um, we're not that far off it. We're just we're just in a real slump at the moment. But mm. that won't last. All right. So it's 2024 premiership. That's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> How's I'm not it? sure I said that. <laughs> <laughs> well, Paul Molly Meldrum, an absolute uh, um, cult figure here at the Carlton Football Club. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank Thanks you so, so much for having me. I've really enjoyed it. Thanks for your time. Well, thank Enjoy you very much. You are now your Premiership player, but now you are a legend <laughs> of the Jumper Punch. Oh, that? that's fantastic. That's right. Great to hear. So we'll finish off as we always do when we cheer on the team. What do we say? That's all right, I don't work at a fast pace I'm a steady horse creeping up straight past And once I pass you, no one's getting past me I see people hit walls and they stop there I don't get that, my man, it sounds scared Good things take time, better prepare Cause anything great takes pain, it's a fair uh, Take it from me, cause I got to this place where no one